morning dear students due to the lockdown condition we the loyola school has come up with the idea of teaching learning method this way i miss sarang agustin will take your chemistry classes there are all together four lessons in chemistry and lesson 1 is matter in our surroundings but what matter is anything that has mass and occupies space is matter living things as well as non living things plants animals as well as human beings are made up of matter but the particles of living beings are cells the fundamental unit of life and that is why we study about these cells in biology air water soil books plastic bottles pebbles stones etc are non living things the particles are either atoms or molecules and we study about these in chemistry we will see a few characteristics of matter a matter is made up of particles which are either atoms or molecules the particles are very small the particles are in motion not stationary and therefore possess kinetic energy the particles have intermolecular space and also have force of attraction between them when we consider time forms of energy emotions and sensations these are not matter on the basis of the kinetic energy they possess the space between the particles and force of attraction between the particles there are different states or forms of matter the three common states of forms of matter are solid liquid and gas plasma and bose einstein condensate bec are two additional forms of matter which are only possible in laboratory when the intermolecular force of attraction is strong kinetic energy of particles is low and the particles are closely packed the matter exists as solid therefore these two have definite shape and volume solids are rigid and non compressible they have high density they do not flow and they also possess high melting and boiling points when the force of attraction between the particles is moderately strong kinetic energy allows the particles to slide over one another the particles are loosely packed the matter exists as liquid the liquids have definite volume but indefinite shape these have slightly compressibility these have low density than solids and can flow because of the fluidity these need to be stored in containers these also possess low density and low boiling point than solids when the force of attraction between the particles is very weak kinetic energy is high and the particles are far away from each other the matter exists as gas the properties of gases are these have indefinite shape and volume these are highly compressible these also have low densities high diffusion and high kinetic energy the moving gas particles hit the walls of the container and they exert pressure also known as gas pressure when the matter changes from one physical state to another it is known as interconversion of states of matter change of state of matter is a physical change and can be achieved by a change in temperature b change in pressure and c change in temperature and pressure both change in temperature temperature is degree of hotness and coolness of the body 
there are three scales to measure the temperature celsius and kelvin scales are the very common scales to measure the hotness and coolness of the body the thermometers which we use at home are based on the measure to celsius scale also we know it as centigrade scale the thermometers which we use in laboratory though measure the temperature on kelvin scale relation between kelvin and celsius scale can be shown as k is equals to degree celsius plus 273 or degree celsius is equals to k minus 273 whenever we do increase or decrease the temperature we do observe change in the state of matter various processes involved in conversion of states of matter are number 1 melting of fusion this can be said as the process in which solid state of matter changes into its liquid state by heating the second process is freezing freezing is reverse of melting it is the process in which a liquid changes into solid this can be only achieved when we decrease the temperature the next third process is boiling or vaporization the process involves heating a liquid to a temperature when it starts converting into vapors the fourth process is condensation it is reverse of boiling and vaporization and this requires cooling the substance the matter loses heat and converts from vapors to its liquid state the fifth process is sublimation it is the process in which a solid directly changes into gas or vapor without passing through the intermediate liquid state the reverse of sublimation is desublimation in which substance the gases or vapors convert directly into a solid state without passing through its liquid state ammonium chloride iodine camphor naphthalene solid carbon dioxide etc are the good example which show sublimation and desublimation respectively and the examples of sublimate change in pressure also brings about change in state of matter the interparticulate space between the particles of the gas can be decreased by increasing pressure and thus the gas can be converted into liquid cng lpg oxygen in cylinders are the good examples in which the gas is converted into the liquid form and are transported to various places for various purposes when a gas is compressed by applying pressure heat is evolved so simultaneous cooling is needed when we release the pressure or decrease the pressure the liquid gaseous substance converted into its gaseous state and are used so far we have discussed about the matter characteristics of matter various states of forms of matter and interconversion of states of matter by applying temperature pressure or both next we'll study the role of heat or temperature during interconversion of states of matter we also will discuss about the various examples in which interconversion of states of matter and its role is helpful in our daily life